Hello all and welcome back. In this video we are going to cover CloudFront with Lambda at Edge, followed by a quick demo. CloudFront helps write your own code to customize how CloudFront distributions process HTTP requests and responses. The code runs closer to the viewers to minimize latency and without having to manage servers or other infrastructure. CloudFront Edge functions currently supports two types, CloudFront functions and Lambda at Edge functions. Lambda at Edge are Lambda functions and visible only on the Lambda dashboard. Lambda at Edge currently supports Node.js and Python runtime. They run in regional edge caches. Lambda at Edge has VM-based isolation and supports both viewer request and response and origin request and response trigger events. Lambda at Edge supports longer execution time as compared to CloudFront functions, 5 seconds for viewer triggers and 30 seconds for origin triggers. It can scale to hundreds of requests per second. Lambda at Edge has network and file system access and can access the request body. Lambda at Edge use cases include functions that take several milliseconds or more to complete, functions that require adjustable CPU or memory, functions that depend on third-party libraries including the AWS SDK for integration with other AWS services, functions that require network access to use external services for processing or require file system access or access to the body of the HTTP requests. Lambda at Edge with CloudFront has the following limitations. Numbered function of the Lambda function should be used and not latest or aliases. Also, the function must be in the US East North Virginia region. In this demo, we are going to create a Lambda at Edge function and attach it to an existing CloudFront distribution. This Lambda at Edge function will add additional security headers to the response. We already have a CloudFront distribution created from our previous Origin Groups demo. Let's navigate to the Origins tab. We already have two S3 buckets configured as Origins and an Origin group created. Let's navigate to the Behaviors tab. We have a default wildcard behavior created and the behavior points to the origin group. The viewer is configured to redirect HTTP to HTTPS. Cache policy is configured to disable the caching. And we do not have any functions associated yet with the behavior. Let's quickly test the changes. Let's navigate back to the general tab and copy the CloudFront distribution domain name. Let's open the primary HTML page and it works. Let's open the Web Developer Tools and the Network tab. We are going to check the response headers. It already has few response headers from CloudFront. We will be adding additional caching and security headers using our CloudFront function. Let's create our Lambda at Edge function. Let's navigate to the Lambda console. And let's go to the functions option. We do not have any Lambda at Edge functions created yet. Let's create our function. We can either create the Lambda function from scratch Use an existing blueprint or a container image to deploy the function. For this demo, let's create the function from an existing blueprint. Let's search for CloudFront and we can see few functions listed. We will select the modify HTTP response header function which is written in node.js. It will help us get started and we will update the function code later. Let's name the function CloudFront Lambda at Edge Demo. 
the runtime is Node.js and with a 64-bit architecture. Let's configure the Lambda execution role. A Lambda function's execution role is an IAM role that grants the function permission to access AWS services and resources. Let's use the create a new role from AWS policy templates. We will use the name CloudFront Lambda at Edge demo role. Lambda automatically adds the policy template basic Edge Lambda permissions as we chose a CloudFront blueprint. This policy template adds execution role permissions that allow CloudFront to run your Lambda function for you in CloudFront locations all around the world. We will check the role shortly. Let's create the function with our base template code. Let's go ahead and click create the function. It gives you an option to configure the CloudFront trigger and deploy as Lambda at Edge. We will deploy the function in a minute. But before that, let's update the function code. This function basically adds security headers to the response. From the interface, we can also test the function. But for now, let's go ahead and deploy the function. Let's now associate the Lambda function with CloudFront. Let's add trigger to the Lambda at Edge function. Let's select CloudFront and it provides us an option to deploy it as Lambda at Edge. Let's deploy the function to Lambda Edge. We do not have any existing triggers, so let's configure a new CloudFront trigger. We will select our distribution, which is the only CloudFront distribution we have for now. Let's select the default white card behavior which is also the only one that we have in the CloudFront distribution. Lambda at Edge functions can be associated with both the viewer request response and the origin request response events. Let's select origin response as we would only be adding the headers to the response. Let's confirm deploy to Lambda Edge and click on the deploy option. The CloudFront will deploy the function at Edge locations and it will take time to replicate and this typically takes several minutes. We have now created a Lambda function, associated it with the CloudFront trigger, which makes it act as a Lambda at Edge function. Let's check the IAM role created. Let's navigate to the IAM console. Let's select Roles. We have the CloudFront Lambda at Edge demo role already created. This role now has permissions to create CloudWatch log group and log stream and push logs to CloudWatch log group. The trust relation is also set to Lambda and Lambda at Edge. We can verify the mapping from our CloudFront distribution as well. Let's go to the CloudFront distribution and let's check our default behavior. Let's go to the function association. And the function association has the lambda at edge function mapped to the origin response event. Let's go back to our CloudFront distribution and check the status. The lambda function has been deployed. Let's verify our changes by refreshing the primary HTML page. And let's check the response headers. And the new security headers are being added to the response. And that's it for the CloudFront with Lambda at Edge demo. Lambda at Edge helps execute your own code to customize how the CloudFront distribution process HTTP requests and responses. It offers much more wider options as compared to the CloudFront functions. I hope you liked the demo. Thank you all. All right, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.